lately President uh, Kenyatta eye-catching shirts have people talking with some admiring the locally made attire while others simply want to know the cost and where to get similar shirts well in case you didn't know all the shirts are designed and made right here in the country by Rivertex East Africa Limited. This is a textile factory that is based in Eldoret, Uasin Geshu County. The government has also asked civil servants to dress in Kenyan-made clothing on Fridays to support the economy. Tonight, a look at President Uhuru Kenyatta's latest fashion fad that is shaping the fashion trends of Kenyans to buy Kenyan and build Kenya. President Uhuru Kenyatta's shirts have lately become the talk of town. Uh, it's good that uh, he's supporting locally made clothes. Imagine to smart sana. Hata sisi atujui kwenye ziko. So we would love either they advertise you or they communicate with Wakenya because they're smart and I talk less they got too smart sana. Napenda fashion na zingine kama hizo zikona print zina represent African. I feel proud because President wetu anava kitu ina kafiti ni ki Africa and ana show enye industries Africa pia zineza make something kikopoa. The president has been donning African print shirts and seems to have taken a break from his formal suits. The elaborately designed multicolored African print shirts have earned the president praise from fashion enthusiasts. Watu ze tu fiti, ata si tu kingara ka uhunye uhunye, tunaeza ata ngote anana uhunye. Kezi kika mko industry sezi zikata bora tu prize kwa fiti na pia zikuwezi na mekiwa kwa industry zetu za hapa. The promote. Local textile manufacturer Rivertex has confirmed that most of the African print shirts donned by the president have been made by them. Every other day we come up with new designs and from these designs we exchange those designs with the head of state's uh, office there. From there now we coordinate in a way that these are the designs he has picked, they, that his designer has picked and from those that he has picked we, we, we stitch those and uh, we deliver to the head of state. President Uhuru Kenyatta is easily the most visible brand ambassador of Moy University-owned Rivertex East Africa since the firm's revival in June 2019. When we president wears a design, he now gives freedom for us to stitch these designs to the public so that people can enjoy those, uh, those designs that he, he has worn. This is a shirt that he had used some few months ago and people had already gone ahead to stitch different things, like the pillows, the shirts, the dress, and all that. And it was a good marketing for us. And we are happy that at least we have also increased the marketing of that same, 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 same design. In 2017, the government rolled out Buy Kenya, Built Kenya strategic report. And I've seen his uh, other senior government officials are doing the same. Uh, we have... Uh, CSS education, CSS industries, CSS uh, transport, and they are all supporting us now. The report was trying to address the issue of Kenyans spending more on imports than local products. Because as we import, we create employment elsewhere. And uh, we want to say that everything done locally, the cotton, the, the fabric, and people buy our fabric, and we can also export the fabric. The government says the revival of leading textile factories, including Rivertex, Thicker Cotton Mills, and Ken Knit, is a deliberate and sustained government strategy aimed at benefiting cotton farmers, growing local industries, and creating jobs for the youth. I can say it has had a lot of uh, multiply effect, uh, beginning with the cotton grass. Now we are reviving cotton growing, which had been dead for almost 20 years. Uh, we are giving farmers free seeds and we are also giving them pesticides. In the president's words, buy Kenya, build Kenya. Welcome, visit our shops in Nairobi, Nakuru, Kisumu, uh, here in Eldred, in our main institution, in our, in our main operating institution here at, at the Rivertex. He is leading this initiative from the front and fashionably so.